Hey y'all, it's Pyfer again. I'm the audio director and casting director for Afray. I'd like to start off by thanking each and every one of you for tuning into our previous devlog here on YouTube a few weeks ago. If you missed it, be sure to check out that video after this one. A lot of you have been wondering how much gameplay you can expect out of the early access release. As we edge closer, we are currently expecting roughly one to one and a half hours in the main Area 12 raid. This is considering factors of not completely rushing, exploring, and so on. As time progresses in early access development, more gameplay time will surely be added. We're hoping to release a basic PvP game mode on release to boost replayability before more story content can be delivered, along with the potential for more multiplayer modes as time goes on. Since the last video, we've continued to press through development without any major hitches. We've been hard at work and are still currently on the target for the late November private beta. If you're able to, please consider wishlisting SCP Pandemic on Steam. We're on the path to 200,000 wishlists, putting us in the top 100 wishlisted games on Steam. With that out of the way, let's get right into this month's devlog. We're currently hiring. Please email us at hello at afray.gg if you're interested in working on SCP Pandemic. Right now, we're currently looking for 3D artists, C++ programmers, and environmental concept artists. Otherwise, if you're just somebody who wants to support the development and the people behind this project, consider contributing directly to us through the Patreon or our website. Writing and Lore we have currently begun writing out official documents for the Size e program, including origins, containment protocols, and the like, thanks to our new dedicated writer. So far, we have been able to tackle the Infector, Resonator, and the Devastator documents, which we will be releasing as SCP readings here on our own YouTube channel, narrated by me. I have a ton of experience in doing narrations such as these, as some of you may know me from Tatstop's videos as SCP-682 or the other videos from that channel. I'm absolutely thrilled to get into it on the Afraid channel and dive deeper into the lore we've created for SCP Pandemic. In-game enemies The AI has had some significant progression. We've made a new backend system that virtualizes and caches light data, which allows every light to be processed by zombies, enemy guards, and so on. With this now in place, if the environment is void of lights, has broken light, or lights are turned off by the player, AI enemies will have a harder time detecting your presence. This is the start of stealth, becoming a new option for your fire team. Currently, zombies are set up so that they'll take longer to see you in the darkness. It will be applied to enemy guards in the near future as well. Progression to the guards has also been made, with core functionality for retreating, taking cover, smooth looking, suppression, recoil compensation, basic squad tactics, and more to come. New files have been made for the infected fledgling, footsteps, gear movement, chem lights, weapon bashing, bullet impacts, and frag grenades. We've also now made new sounds for the environmental fires, mission UI sound effects, generators, fans, and so on. New music tracks have also been made for the new story moments in the game, as well as new combat tracks. We've also made significant improvements to the M24A3, UMP45, and the Mossberg 590, in addition to some small tweaks to other weapons. User Interface with the impending early access release of SCP Pandemic in just a couple of months, we now have a proper introduction video that plays when you launch the game, along with a functioning loading screen. We've also been working to integrate advanced accessibility features into SCP Pandemic to ensure that this game can be enjoyed by as many people as possible. We now have a professional accessibility consultant to make sure we are able to do as much as we can. More information on this soon. Other than that, we've been working to make the UI more consistent in general, both in looks and functionality. General Programming We've updated to Unreal Engine 4.27 from 4.26, which has brought some performance stability improvements. During this period, we've also integrated NVIDIA DLSS, 
NVIDIA Reflex, and AMD FSR support into play. The art department has gotten some love these last past months. We're now working on the main character's uniforms, which features modifiable colors and camos for easy development side customization. Various gears such as vest, plate carriers, etc. is also being worked on, with more to be shown soon. On the animation side, our animators have finished the overhaul of the UMP45 animations, in addition to animations for the chem lights. Level Design We've been redoing massive sections of the Area 12 map, in addition to an entirely new starting area for your entry into the complex. This includes a new logistics area, a car park, revamped offices from the original map, a revamped sewer area, and so on. More to come soon. We would like to thank all of you for your wealth of patience and generous support. If you want to find out more about SCP Pandemic or have any questions for us, consider joining our Discord linked in the description below 